Hi guys, I'm Gwen Roth with the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District. Welcome back to our second vlog. We have lots of fun and exciting stuff that we want to talk to you about today. Now you remember in our last vlog we talked about milkweed and if you know me you know I love monarchs and you know I love milkweed. Milkweed is essential to monarch butterflies and right about now the milkweed is starting to go to seed. You might notice some of these milkweed pods on your plants. Inside these pods are hundreds of milkweed seeds. Now as the pods ripen and get ready to mature they turn a gray or brown color and they start to burst open and inside that are hundreds of different milkweed seeds. Now each one of these seeds has a little fluff on it and th that fluff is designed to carry that milkweed seed on the wind to be planted somewhere else. Now if you want more milkweed in your garden, leave the pods alone. They'll burst open, those seeds will spread and will spread the milkweed love. If that's a few too many milkweeds for you, you can collect the pods and you can deliver them here to our office. Now you want to collect the pods when they're brown like this. You don't want to collect the pods when they're green like that. Leave these on the plant and wait a little while until they get to this point. We're going to use those seeds and we're going to send them up to the state office and the state office is going to take all those seeds and they're going to use them in conservation plantings so we can have more milkweed throughout the state of Ohio to spread that monarch love so that we can have more monarchs next year. Summer's over and you know what that means. It means it's back to school time and it's also time to drain those pools and those hot tubs. Now there's a couple things you need to know before you start just dumping that water right out into your yard. The first thing is the backwashed water, which is the water that you use to clean out your filter. That's considered wastewater and it has to go down into a sanitary sewer. Now the sanitary sewer is anything that your laundry tub or your toilet washes into. So that water can go directly down that drain. Now the water that you have in your pool or your hot tub, the first thing you have to do is dechlorinate it. And what does that even mean? It means don't add any more chlorine. If you have any chlorine tablets in there, take them out. Let that water sit for three days, maybe even up to a week or two. Once you get all the chlorine out of that water, it's okay to just slowly drain it into your yard and let that water filter down into your soil. But make sure you get the chlorine out of it first. So let it sit for a couple days before you let it drain into your yard. It's fall and it's time to do some of that fall cleaning. So you have a lot of random containers in your garage like I do. Well, there's a lot of alternatives for products that we have in our garage. Simple products that we can use like vinegar and Murphy's oil soap. We can make bug repellents, we can make glass cleaners, all different types of things. In fact, if you take a cup of water and just one and a half teaspoons of vinegar, mix it in together in a spray bottle and you have a fabulous glass cleaner. Now if you have some of those products in your garage and you just don't know what to do with and you don't know how to properly dispose of them, because a lot of those things can't just go into the trash, you can go to takebackyourhome.org, find where to dispose of those things properly, find other recipes for alternative products, and all kinds of great information. So thanks for tuning in to our second edition of our vlog. If you have any comments or questions, you can always email us or check out our website. And if you have topics you'd like to see on future vlogs, just leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Have a great day.